hello and welcome to the channel once again the name is guru here in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how you can fix or repair your own device um in this video it's going to be a very quick and straightforward tutorial on how you can remove icloud lock or iphone lock to owner using this simple tool called the mina a 12 activator so in this tutorial i'm going to show you all the basic steps that you need to follow along to get your device unlocked so if you have the iphone lock to owner device and you have no means to unlock then you can follow along with my tutorial so this tutorial is going to work on iphone xr all the way to iphone 13 pro max so um first thing first you need a macbook and to run this software called the mina activator so the mina a12 activator so here we do have the mina a12 activator being launched and first thing first you need to connect your device to your macbook so if you do not have macbook then check out my previous tutorial on how you can use windows operating system to unlock your device so um first thing first let's uh, wait for our device to be detected and since our device is being detected right over here um we need to check if our device is being supported by the mina activator so uh, let me hide this 3 2 pop up and now click on activate device and the first time clicking on activate device you are going to receive a message or a pop-up message saying your device is being supported or not so here you see our device is being supported and it says we can proceed with the registration of our serial number with any reseller so um to get your serial number being registered you need to head to this um website open your browser and head to this website called smart unlock so open um your browser type in or the link also will be in this video description so don't need to panic um i'll leave the link in this video description for you to click on it if you do not have account on smart unlock just click on create account and then sign in with your details then later on come back and log in so um after logging in successfully we are going to place order using smart unlock service so um first then first we need to move into the imei service and also if you do not have credit you need to purchase credit in order to um make payment on smart unlock so here um let me move straight to the um imei service and search for mina 812 registration so um let's wait for um the imei services to load up so now we need to choose our device on it's mina and our device is iphone 11 so we make sure we choose the right um service for our device so um we can see we have the uh, iphone 11 being selected and now we need to input our ec um, serial number so you need to copy your serial number from mina activator or just type in your serial number into the um serial number box in order to place the order okay so when you are done pasting or typing in the serial number you can now proceed with the submit order now you can click on submit order and place order successfully so um let's wait um you can see we have order being placed successfully so um we can proceed to um our order history to check if the order has been processed successfully uh so we just have to move to the menu again and click on order history and wait for it to load and you can see the tutor order have that have been made is one and you can see um it being on attended um so just refresh your um browser a few minutes uh, um few seconds or a minute to check the order status so it's been pending right now so um let's wait as the order can take up to one to ten minutes so we have a successful um registration so uh, we can confirm with our mina a12 activator um so let's close from our browser since we have a successful um registration with smart unlock so smart unlock will be in the video description for you guys to place your order 
so here we can now check or confirm that our device has been registered successfully so here we have it with this prompt saying um our device um serial number batch is still on process so uh at, at the first time when we did click on activate device it says our device is supported and now since our device is regi been registered it says it's been been processed so uh you need to wait um a minimum of um uh, one to two days to get your device being um added to the batch so you need to wait within this time frame to get your um uh, device being added to the batch um registration so um you can confirm with the two anytime you want to confirm if your device is being added so um my device has been added to the batch successfully and you can get update on smart unlock um telegram channel if um batch uh, registration is being done you can get alert from smart unlock channel so here um i do know that the batch order is being done so i can now proceed with the activation so let's click on activate your device and wait do not touch your device when you do click on activate device do not touch your device until the process is being done and you need to wait for the tool to finish and do not um, unplug your device from the computer as well um mina do not show any progress bar as it been run at the background so you can see we have our device being uh boot spring we need to wait for a device to turn on and then uh, we do not still not need to um touch our device until we see um a successful message prompting us that our device has been successfully been activated so um we have this prompt right over here let me zoom in um says our device has been successfully been activated and we should wait for our device to be rebooted and since our device has been successfully bypassed we can take in update through ota and the only limitation or the only thing we cannot do is to factory reset our device or restore our device so we have our device being um, activated successfully with mina a12 activator so here we can unplug our usb cable from the phone and then try few things out okay so after the bypass you might ask maybe can you make calls with your device yes you can and also um access all icloud services by signing in into or creating new apple id through settings and also facetime and imessage do works as well so um um let's insert sim card into the device and first i did inserted a carrier that has no service so i I just have to um insert new carrier that have service in order to um able to show you that some calls do work so uh let's try um placing in a call by um dialing the service center number and you can see the call just go through so after the bypass has been done successfully you can um make calls and receive calls i message and i can sign in should work perfectly without any issue um so that's it for today's tutorial thanks for watching make sure to subscribe to the channel the name is guru don't forget to check this video description for all the necessary file needed so that's it for today's tutorial hope this tutorial helps you thanks for watching peace out